Because you know it's better than a regular circus? What? An electric circus! Ooh. The Circus Electrique! A French, a French electric circus, I should say. Um, so, you ready to go to the circus? I'm so <laughs> ready to go to the circus. Is this supposed to be like robot circus, that like uh, anthology anime film? Oh, no. I don't believe so. Uh, I don't believe so. Boo. This is like Darkest Dungeon, but way more, like, whimsical. Okay. So, welcome back to Dojo, everybody. I'm Jeff. I'm Tessa. Uh, we are playing Circus Electrique today, which is a, like, a weird... It's like a it's a, it's kind of a battle RPG, but it's more like it's a, a Darkest Dungeon. Okay. As opposed to... Um, oh, choose your difficulty. Uh, JRPG. So... And there's some kind of like I don't know. It's like the 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 automatons have taken over. Something. Oh no! Oh no! Do you want Circus Skynet? Because this is how you get Circus Skynet. I think you can get Skynet from having me type in the same prompt in Mid Journey a billion times in a row. Oh my god! <laughs> Ten years is far too soon. After what he did. You know what you did. What did he do? I don't know. Oh, she like a. Firestarter? Is she a twisted fire starter? Oh, she's remembering. I, th I think the guy started a fire. Okay. I think there was. Oh. Reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. Okay. We, we got. Cat is hungry. Wants food. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's, that doesn't seem like the least important story. Is your is your nemesis the the conductor or whatever? Yeah. Giving them something new. I feel like this is going to start and turn out to be like, we're back a dinosaur story, and he's going to be like Professor Screw Eyes or something. Uh, I don't trust him. Yeah. I've seen these two before. That's their happy face. What? What the? <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. Oh. That'd be a story I could get behind. Okay. <laughs> Who's Uncle? Is that guy? I guess it's the like the ringmaster. Uh, okay. What, what, wait, what's the... Oh. What? Oh, yep. <laughs> So he turned on the giant Tesla coil and it made all the robot cops go crazy. And there's a lion. What? Yeah. And now there's a. <laughs> We're at a circus. Okay. And now I've got a clown and a strong man. Get him, you guys. Wow. Okay. We're jumping right into it. None of this Jeff complains about not being able to fight a, an RPG for 45 minutes. Yeah. This time we just go right into Overcome it. Overcome your uh, opponents in battle with skills. Every character can use at least one skill a turn. Okay. We've got. Ball throw, uh -huh. and that appears to be everything All that you have right now. And our clown's oh. name is Grok. Uh, Grok is an interesting name. We got Bobby, and we got oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> well, that. Do believe your rubber ball oh, oh. Jolly good show, Grok. Oh, cool. So are these guys? They're standing on little we wheelies, but they their feet aren't wheels. It would appear so. <coughs> Okay, certain skills can only be used in certain positions against certain slots. Both here. So what's really interesting is I don't know how familiar you are with um, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if you've ever played that. Uh, no. So Darkest Dungeon came out years ago. Very well beloved. It's a big roguelike. And this combat system is just like directly lifted from Darkest Dungeon. Where it's like you've got this these rows of four people facing off against each other. Um Okay. And then, like, their placement, like, in this row really, really matters. Uh, so if I... How do I just do... And they're both named Bobby. Bobby and Bobby. They're the Bobbies. They're the Bobbies. They're the Bobbies. The Bobby pins. Cheese it, it's the Bobbies! And he's got a little, like, frowny clown face. Oh. Electro wow, these are the on. worst cops of all time. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious why they have human feet and why their feet just aren't wheels. If, I don't know. If they have to stand on those Let's things. See. Anyways. Front blow. Brr. I'm not sure how much I really like all the little like weird Batman sound effects that are coming up, but Oh the the, the smash and non diegetic music or whatever. Yeah. Or in, in an order determined by the value of their initiative attribute. Okay. Uh all right. Well you guys give me anything. We've got Don't You Dare. I he's got under that hat. Is his head shaped like that under that hat? The automaton? Yeah. I don't know, man. I know as much as you do. So, um, 
This is I I am a uh, I do like the look of this quite mm -hmm. a bit though. This is the month for like clockwork. Oh, there's a, him off. He's bald. There's a lot Moment. of oh, and she oh. came out of nowhere and it's, the lions on her <laughs> the, team. The lion. Okay, I feel like we really didn't get a lot of exposition on who she. She's a reporter. Yeah, and I this think guy's her uh, uncle. I guess there was a fire. Is the strongman her uncle or the ringmaster? The ringmaster. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Answer my question right away. Saving lives isn't really your style, uncle. But he he set the fire. He didn't start the fire. Uh, it's always been turning since the world something something burning. something. Leonidas. Oh, jeez. Okay. Leonidas. Hey. Oh. And the lion, the side of its face looked like it was burnt. So I think in the fire last time. Oh, it's a blind. Yeah. Blind one, burned lion. Yeah, the one side of its face was a little funky. That's not gonna stop a giant cat from smashing your head around. Nope. Ah, for your circus story. I do like this drawing style with the cross hatches and whatnots. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Like somebody actually put some work in. Oh, yeah. Um, Old storybook style drawing. Grar. Also, what's with her camera? Yeah, she. I feel like I <laughs> I know that it's just like the, the pedant in me, but I'm like, close it. It's, it's obviously it folds up when not in use. Mm -hmm. Why is it unfolded? Well, <laughs> she's currently on the job. There could be some interesting thing that needs photographed at a moment's notice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Also, by this is just really I just noticed her steampunk goggles uh On and her her, uh, her Sherlock Holmes cape. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> yeah, that capelet. That's that's some goals. She looks like she should be uh uh, uh like solving mysteries with Herlock Holmes and uh the old ace attorney. as it were. Okay. So, high devotion characters make extremely effective or uh Makes Thank characters you. extremely oh, okay. effective okay. in battles, yeah. 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 Blah. Bleep, blah, bloop. But yeah, see, there's the other side of the lion's face. Okay. Wow, that is good. Uh, most of the time, see, with her, they just flipped her around because mm -hmm. her camera's on the other side. Everything mm -hmm. is on the other side now. But the lion, they actually drew both sides of his face. Mm -hmm. So, just, uh, just want to strike home that, yes, this lion does not like this ringmaster probably very much. So, train is unlocked, uh -huh. character unlocked, fire blower performers may appear in the train uh, to be recruited. That's cool. This is, man, this is exactly Darkest Dungeon. Um, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know, you know. It, I like this menu music much better than the fight music because the fight music was very Batman. Yeah. We got Bertha. Bertha, Balthazar, and Grok. But yeah, you do that. It's like you do this exact same thing in... Darkest Dungeon, like you go to this place and you recruit different different kinds of people, and it's always random. Cool. Um, my goodness, that's a low belt, Bertha. Oh well, she's got a high waisted thing too. She's very skinny. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a mime. Now there's a mime involved. Okay. What's your general feelings about the circus, Tessa? Uh, depends. Pro pro circus, anti circus. Uh, depends okay all right fair <laughs> enough uh not not really huge in the ones that keep the animals uh, uh ones with performers sure sure you know like Cirque du Soleil all that jazz I like aerials and trapeze and yes, yes. and all that jazz but uh the ones that keep the animals not so much yeah because that's that's got to be kind of not great mm -mm. uh using certain skills within a battle can instantly increase or decrease the devotion of targets use trumpet uh boost to temporarily increase all team members devotion okay huzzah, oh, ba -ba. huzzah. i'm in i'm inspired precision buff yeah ow rude i got minus two electricity uh, devotion may have different values. The base value constantly affects the character's effectiveness. Affect. Oh, okay. All right. Well, temporary values only last for a few rounds of battle. All right. We got a mime now. Spinebreaker. Oh, and he's got an extra set of hands. What's that? He's the mime. He has like an extra set of hands. Oh, like yeah. Doc or something back there. Let's see. Can oh, I get he's him? He's a busker, level one. Take that. Oh, no. Mm. My spine breaker didn't land. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, gamer, okay, that's, I see you. that's pretty decent. Uh, okay, like your own performance, reducing appearance to opponents' devotion. God, for a show where all I do is talk, I sure can't talk today. Uh, 
Devotion of an opponent or player character drops to zero, they'll flee from battle. Okay. That mime over there doesn't seem to be too devoted. Oh. Use fire throw to try to chase him out of battle. Sure. It's like, go on now, get. So that's the blue bar is their resolve. Oh. Uh. Yes, I know the blue bar is my resolve, too. Yeah. Bertha, worth all ten shillings for sure. And then see what... Maybe it even eleven. Ooh. No, just ten. Okay. Girl, get paid what you're worth. <laughs> what all does Grok have? Clown care. Heals health. Uh, Grok's devotion decreases. He gets to trade in. So devotion kind of also works like magic points. Moves forward by two slots. Taunts. Boosts of precision. Or we could just hit him hit him with that water. Oh. Okay. Down 5%. He's 5% sad. I think you guys still haven't explained what's up with the like weird Robocops. Uh, <laughs> like, what are they? Why are they here? Robo-constable. What, what the hell is going on with them? <laughs> Hooray! Huzzah! The lion has a saddle on it, too. Also, we got meat. What did mm, we get? We meat, got a wrench. Mood, tools, food tools, and circus fame. Ooh. Okay. The reputation of the circus. Don't yeah. mind if I do. Defeating them in pub battles. This is also made by Zen Studios, who I think is really weird, because they used to make pinball games, and they broke out into RPGs. Huh. So. You just endangered this poor girl's life. I mean. Did he? No, she seems fine. The sleeping cart won't do me. The sleeping cart? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere near the sleeping cart. That just sounds creepy, you know. Uh, if the I way that guy says it. Yeah, if I remember correctly, like that's one of the things from Darkest Dungeon mm -hmm. is that you get, mm -hmm. like, um, when your characters get fatigued. Hey, Yvonne, Yvonne. that's my middle name. Oh, there you go. Yvonne, yep. So uh, they have to like you. get taken out of battle yeah. for a few turns to like rest and recuperate. The sleeping cart should be yours for the evening. Okay. What's her deal? Let Yvonne rest in the sleeping cart for the evening. Okay. Sure. Takes time to heal. Let her rest in the sleeping cart until tomorrow. And she's wearing a necklace with a lock and chain on it. I assume she's some sort of escape artist. Maybe. Oh. You guys have a straight up mad scientist at your circus, apparently. You gotta. I mean, I guess. Fop doodles. Oh, I'm gonna use that. Oh boy. Everybody's getting called Fop Doodle now. I don't know what a Fop Doodle is, but please in the comments <laughs> put your favorite old timey insult in who, the comments. Tell me who you're gonna call a Fop Doodle. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Although devotion can increase some skills damage, chance to hit devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by devotion are highlighted with an electric effect around their icons. The positive or negative effect of devotion is highlighted in parentheses in the skill description. Okay, so... Okay, all right. Jeff, just tell them to quit being such fop doodles. Yeah, you fop doodles. They'll be so <laughs> taken aback. They'll just leave the, the fighting uh, area crying. I th yeah, I think Little so. Little rusty uh, robot tears. Uh, let's see. So that one, that one takes... Oh, I love the icon for the taunt. That's cute. Moves four by two slots, taunts <laughs> for one turn. Yeah, let's, let's try that out. We haven't done that yet. Uh... <laughs> 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 this is going to move him to the front of the stack. Aha, uh -huh, you missed. You dumb robot cop. Wah! There you go. All right. Spinebreaker can still be done from back here. So what, our cab? Oh All my God. robot cops are bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is relatively e this is relatively easy going. I wonder if they're going to have um, dungeons the same way. I really, you know, I, I hope that this was made by... I, I like. I feel like I'm gonna end up being real. It's gonna end up. I'm gonna end up with egg on my face because it turned out like yeah. Half the Darkest Dungeons developers left and then went and made this game for Zed like, Studios. Yeah, yeah. That's why it looks like a Jeff. You yeah. did your homework. Maybe you know. I don't know. I'm well, not in can... fucking elementary school. <laughs> I don't have to do shit homework. I need you to write a five-page essay, Jeff. Hell's the, nah. The word fop doodle. Hell's nah. <laughs> I gotta go to the library to research them fop doodles for my essay. Trumpet boost. Yeah. I used to play trumpet in middle school. Oh, my God. Yep. This game is practically just a biography of your life. A little bit. With all the electro cops and <laughs> lions and stuff. <laughs> oh, that Grok's dance is pretty good. I like her weird standing trike, trike cart thing. Um, 
Let's see. One of those. Assign performers next to their preferred companions for better circus show chemistry. Yep. Fun. Okay, so this is their leveling up. It's like... That I said after battles with the circus results and character status reported here. Okay. Oh, one day since the maddening. Okay, great. What's the maddening? It's what happened when you turned on that thing and it made oh, all the robots the go Tesla crazy. Coil, right, yeah. Right. Effects from buildings are realized the following day. Yvonne was healed after a night in the sleeping cart and is ready to join the exploration team. Awesome. But like, you want my opinion on this, don't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a mad scientist involved. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Dr. Mabry does the voice of the guy who gives you assignments and I expect you to die. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can see that. Pretty sure it's him. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, what? I'm still confused about what he did. <laughs> oh, the ringmaster? No, like do Dr. Mabry, I guess. He like created this big giant like electric tower uh -oh. and then just made everything go crazy. Yeah, this is the guy from I Expect You to Die. Oh. May I bring it to you shortly? Sure. All things come shortly from you, Oliver. Wow. You're not that much taller, Ringmaster. <laughs> He's also probably wearing lifts. Watching how I plan my shows. There you go. Marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. All right. Let's Off go. we go. So now we have a few different characters. We've got, it looks like another clown. Pablo. Uh, we've got Mario. Maria, another fire breather. Uh-huh. Uh, and Cesar. Cesar, a new, yeah. okay. Oh, and it says recruit three new performers, so I guess we're just going to take all yep, of them. just do the thing. All right, cool beans. Didn't have a lot of options there. I was <laughs> like, and you guys. Uh... Escape artist performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Yep. Circus 10 is unlocked. New circus show draft available. Set up your first show. Wait, we actually get to put on the... A show? Oh. A really good show. Oh. It's like the Village Road Show draft is a first step. You'll get more drafts later. Hmm. Next step for per okay, appropriate performance. Every performer is a preferred preference. They also like to work... More attention they have to chemistry than more How do we know what shows. their chemistry is? To see, well, I think it's telling us. Look to oh, okay. see what performance type the character prefers. The chemistry bar changes at a much lower rate. The icon doesn't match the assignment on the table. The green icon indicates performers with a specific character class. Okay. These are some tiny ass things. So, like, he's got the little blue thing, so he yeah. wants to be the opening act and she wants to be the supporting act. Okay. Looks shows pretty good over there. They work. Okay. Character compatibility, chemistry bar. Looks good. Well, they did let us get right into the action, but like, what a freaking convoluted game. Damn. Um, I think know. that's good. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's go next. for it. Put on a show. Here you can distribute stars you are to the previous step to best yield benefits from their next performance. They get star stickers. Distribute the stars without exceeding the potential value of a draft in any category. Once you've distributed all the stars, hit the announce button. The event will be held later today. Since okay. they're busy with the show, select like performers can't do anything else. They can't help us like fight and stuff. So, so do, or we just can we do anything else? No, we're just doing these two. I guess. Okay. Announce. Huzzah! Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. They have hmm. little uh, posters. Yeah. What a waste of time. I don't know. We got a cool poster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. Okay. <laughs> Bobby, calm it down. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> the boy at Rat Pig. <laughs> okay. Badly injured performance can be saved using the flea action. Okay. All right. What's this? Uh, yeah. What's this new escape artist do? Well, I guess we'll start cool. with 14 to 16, and then we've got 8 to 9. Let's do 14 to 16 on. What is this? What is this lady? Whoa. Posh woman. Po uh, we got posh women in here now. She's a girl, level one. <laughs> level one girl? Is Why is she fighting with these robots? Is she also a robot? She's got, uh, she's got glowing, red glasses. Yeah, she's got glowing red steampunk glasses. I think she's with the bots. Uh, I think she might be a... Uh, oh, look at her arm, yeah. She's got little gears and stuff on it, so yeah. I guess she's a... She's in league with a, a, a posh robot lady. She's in league with the the AIs. All right, what do we got? Chain grab, uh, decreases devotion, one hundred percent chance to move target and herself forward by one slot, 
And then release deals 8 to 10 plus 1. 70% chance to remove stun from all allies. That's like a buff. Let's see if yeah, I can. Evelyn's a whole ass mood. Oh. Oh. What? Okay. You can target a person in back. And then you can pull them forward mm, in the ranking. Okay. You show off to increase damage and reduce all incoming damage. Well, the effect of the trumpet boost wears off of short time. Show off increases your character's devotion permanently. Oh. Okay. Well, that seems like a good thing to do. Show off, my good man. Yeah. Sh show off the muscles and that mom tattoo. Is why he's so often the main event. Boy, back when uh, strong guys still had big guts. Oh, yeah. We didn't have to have just, like, super abs all the time. Effective stat effect. Whether positive or negative skills to inflict active. Okay, all right. Use the inspect button for more detailed information. Holy shit, like, as if I need more detailed information. Fire whip. Ooh. Fire whirl. Uh, fire ring. That's a burning ring of fire. You know, I fell down <laughs> into one uh, once. Yeah, how was it? Eh, it was all right. Did it burn, burn, burn? Yep. Uh, the flames rose higher. Oh, shit. Uh, right, let's buff everybody. I mean, they're already pretty buff. Yeah. You know, fi fire flinger aside, who's very slight. Uh, so far, I don't know if anybody's managed to lo to uh, to get a single hit on any character <laughs> in this entire game. Uh, like in our party. All right. Okay. Stunned them. Stunned. <laughs> What's this one? What's this uh, stompy like neon sign? Ground like shatter sign. decreases devotion. Seventy percent chance to reduce dodge. Balthasar's devotion decreases by four percent. Well, it gives us okay. Just stomping around, man. Yep. I do like the backgrounds in this a lot too. I really dig the entire presentation. The aesthetic like, is great. Uh, per um, purge and fire. I don't know. Let's even try. Even a little menu screen down here at the bottom with all like the pipes and gears and lights and stuff my goodness like the little arrow sign with the bulbs Ooh. on it yeah 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 no it, it all is very nice and this game i think was like i i'd never remember the price of anything but i'm pretty sure that this game was like 20 bucks like okay it's definitely not like a big full price 70 dollar oh, game fled. yeah you better run away all right and I, I do kind of like the idea because Darkest Dungeon is grim as hell. I like the idea of just having... No, wait, what was that? Uh, the weird circus. Oh, skill upgrader can be used to upgrade skills. Circus fame. Okay. More more rep. And now we get to put on a show. We're going to go to the, the old barn. You Are know. we going to go? We're going to watch it? Ma can make uh, costumes. Uh, Two days since the maddening. We can save the rec center or the... Xanadu? Circus or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. Level up. Mm. For each uh, level up point, characters contribute 10 points to increase circus value acts. Okay. Uh, circus act values. Higher circus act values are essential for more complex shows. Okay. I like the way that this is this game is uh, very concerned about like how good your circus show is and yeah. not necessarily about like getting killed by robots. No, uh, like you're still circus performers. There just happens to be some robots on the fritz right now. You know, you still got to go to your job. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not like the fighting the robots thing is the main part of this game. You still still got to put on a good act, man. Yeah. Got to run your lines. You for answers. Uh huh. It'll get you to the vanished bridge. All the what dangers? <laughs> Robot <laughs> cops? <laughs> yeah, do elaborate. Very, but you see, that's the beauty of this man. I have drones. I drones? Have radio. I know what's, what's out there. I really, I Are really your drones also <laughs> evil? I really feel like I didn't read the prequel comic for this game. <laughs> or watch the web short or whatever. Yeah. Like, um... Uh, or maybe it's just one of those games where you're supposed to like, you know, you're going to find out more as you go through. You're just supposed roll. to be very confused right now. Just roll with it. Yeah. Okay. Then I shall put it to good use. Thank you, Dr. Mabry. I have a whole like team of circus people. Yeah. Too much information? No, that's not the problem at this point. Oh, wow. Feeling lost? Can't remember previously explained gameplay? Guys, press this box for instant help. Use codex for tutorials. So wait, did we, did we get our show? Did it happen? 
I guess. Uh, I guess it did, and we just there wasn't like a thing because there wasn't like. Recruit it didn't have like an animatic for us to show Sleeping it Sleeping carts. I don't think we have any fatigue performance. Bullet boards, available items and resources. Embark. Explore the streets of London. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's hit the streets. Oh, come on. I just want to go outside. I just want to go to the pub. Yeah. Also, I'm like 30. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet criminy. He's going to send all the circus guys with us. Who aren't good enough for the premiere. Oh, damn. Brutal. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Fight how, like old boots? How do old boots fight? I don't know. You ever hit anybody with a shoe before? Yes. Okay. I haven't. I mean... I mean, it was on my foot. Oh. Well, it happened. You ever take off a flip flop and then hit somebody with it? I don't even own flip flops, Jeff. What do you oh. take me for? I don't know. <laughs> somebody who goes to the water park from time to time? Uh... Yeah, I don't own flip flops. Okay. I do have sandals, but I usually, when I go to water parks, I wear those like water shoes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, Balthazar is fine. Let's just take the take the team. I just can't handle shoes that like don't have backs on them. I just, yeah? you know, I'll just walk with purpose and just oh. flip, flip them right off you know okay this is it what's up this is so this is like a, a roguelike um oh. so the map is like so in darkest dungeon there was a map and then it mm -hmm. was randomly generated uh -huh. and you had to kind of pick like where do you want to go what do you want to do and like the longer you go the more difficult it gets okay um Whichever way we choose, we're sticking to it. You gotta fight. So we're trying to get up. Uh, oh my goodness, that's a long there. way. Uh, so then, hmm. so if we go around this way, we can go through. I think it's shorter here, yeah, going that way. And then this way, we have to go th around. But how many more fights do we way. have to do? Uh, I think we'll just we'll just go over here. Okay, this will be fine. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, sh I mean, sure. If you want to have a show while we're out, you go for it. Get, get. The oh wait, no, cancel. Pablo. Okay. Maria. Cesar. Do your thing, you guys. Next. Add. Announce. I guess this is how you level people up when you're not using them. Yeah. Because one of the things about Darkest Dungeon is that oh shit. Um, what did you do? I think I. You exited out? I, I guess I did. Um, mm. Is that uh, you end up losing people eventually. It's kind of like a like an XCOM or something where um, you're eventually going to start losing characters, so you're going to have to replace them with dying. the new ones. Yeah. yeah it's like, um, oh, God, what was the one with all the flags or whatever? Shit. I the flags? Uh, banner. Yes, yes, yes. Banner Saga? Yeah, that's one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, standing in slot three or four gains immunity against taunt effects. Oh, that's cool. Birth is immune to fire damage. I would hope so. Uh, it's like, well, you know, the one with all the flags, the banners. Ooh, that's the one. Shit, that's good. Get them all. What? Nice. Okay. <laughs> Gonna put up a smile on that face. Uh, He's been really good at taunt at, at uh sucking down aggro so i'm gonna leave him to do that oh no what was that he got depressed oh no it's a sad clown <laughs> uh. but dr i am pagliacci oh no <laughs> um just gonna see a bunch of sad clown paintings at goodwill it's like ah oh, grok no Ooh. what that could work yeah let's get doing the thing wait which one? Yes, this guy. He goes. Get him. <laughs> oh, no, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Okay, great. Um, wow. See if I can uh, depress them all. The Slapstick. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Rude. How do you depress a robot? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there like, uh, you, like, are there like your mama's so, like poorly built jokes or something oh that you can do for, for robots? Uh, your mama's so poorly built she can't even see DOS run. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm really not entirely sure how to do these sorts of games. 
I've never played them long enough. Okay. He's still a little hurt, though. Doesn't he have a heal? We got, we got a healer well, let's in see. the crowd. Okay, I think he is the healer. It's like we got a doctor in the audience. Enters a stance until next turn retaliates. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. Don't you dare. Um, it's waggling his finger at them disapprovingly. Yeah, that'll really? stop the evil robots. Okay. Well, no, if they, uh, if they go to attack him... Um, then he does like a counterattack. Let's see. Reduces devotion by 15% for one turn. 6% chance to make a target unable to attack. I, th I feel like I can get this guy out of here. There you oh. go. Yeah. Oh, nice. He like, fled. Like kill off his devotion to the point where he flees. Uh, let's buff, buff everybody up. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. They're pulling her up through the. Oh my goodness! All the way to the front, huh? Okay. Well, that's all right. Uh, Surprised we haven't run into any robot versions of like our characters, you know? Mm hmm. Because you got a robot mime. I don't know why we don't have like a robot clowns or robot strongmen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm sure that'll maybe come later. Does he still have that buff? No, he doesn't still have that buff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's next up in the... There we go. You're next up. I'm not sure why the mime has an extra set of arms. Yeah? Yeah. Not really... Not really quite getting that, but all right. Shatter attack, buff, water attack, electric attack. Let's focus on this guy in the back. Okay, so he's out. Yeah. Um, and the arms were in the backpack. What's that? I said the extra set of arms was like on that mime's backpack or something. Oh, shit. Like they weren't even really attached to him. Okay. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's very um, dense. Like it's super dense. Uh, having a hard time kind of keeping up with it. <laughs> like the story is a little obtuse. And then yeah. the, like the mechanics are really heavy. And... I like what I'm seeing. I just I I feel like I'm not directly connected to it right this second, which is, you know, a little weird. But uh, yeah. Critical attacks, good times. Oh, whoa, whoa. So wait, we just spinning, did... oh, yes. spinning newspaper. The newspaper summarizes all the events for the last 24 hours. Look for articles about recent events, the night show, the commercial status of the circus. Cool. Deadly riots as circus like trick returns back to wait is this wait what can we actually get the information total mayhem was unleashed a few days ago droves lenders suddenly turn on one another yep. no one knows what inspired the violence nor can anyone be sure so are, are the citizens of London like cyborgs I is that what's going on here they're all like robot assisted that's why like the robot that's why the cops have feet right is yeah. because they're like semi automatons or something it seems like everybody who's wearing those like sort of like steampunk goggles yeah are affected so it'd be like if you know your google glass turned you evil a voice reporter there <laughs> to cover the events uh, sent words a band of bobbies there to patrol the area on steam issued steam wheels uh -huh. instigated some of the most violent attacks surprise assault from law enforcement overshadowed our event so hmm okay what about oh, there's, oh, our show. there's our show Nice. The success meter is going up. Okay. We had what about the original lavender tea? I don't um, read about the tea firsthand. Yeah. What about the financial news of the Circus Electrique? Property values plummeting as street violence persists. Okay. So we, we lost three meats. meats. Okay. But we got some upgrades. Gear of the London police. The little steam, steam trolley things. Oh, my goodness. The little wheelies. What are, the, what are the ones called that people use, like, nowadays that are like that? It's just, like, the one little single wheel thing that people stand on. And oh, forward. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a... Um, I've seen those. Like a, like a hoverboard or something. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah. That's kind of what these guys are using. Yeah. They're like a steam-powered version. So wait, do we it's need fun. to set up a show in the circus tent? Okay. I'm just going to do this. Same. Oh, new draft is available. Mm. The number of slots. The stars show the max performance revenue. The novelty of the act. Okay. It's like, oh, this is all humdrum. You know, you want something well-rounded, you know? The total devotion. 
the more devotion they have. That's the, oh, so like that green bar is their devotion? Mm, I think the green bar is their chemistry, I thought. Oh. Yeah, the green bar is the chemistry that the performers all have with each other to work together, I think. I think that that's the icon in the upper right-hand corner, like the way that that person, uh, like Balthazar will work with Bertha, who's like flaming? I think that's what that is. Hmm. Um, but then I... Let's here. Let's see. Uh, well, I don't really have a place for birth at the moment. Um, okay. Actually, I don't have a place. Let's see. Balthazar doesn't have uh, anything. Oh wait, no. Balthazar can go to the top main event. Yeah, but he doesn't have any, anything in that bar. What do you mean? Right. He doesn't have any. Uh, like, I'm looking to try to put somebody with that little green bar at the top in there to see if they, if it, like makes the little thingy go up higher. Oh, I see the green um, bar. Ba is Balthasar, he's like a lone wolf type or something? I just don't think this show doesn't have his... Well, no, but Balthazar doesn't have that green bar. Yeah. So, and like, Grok isn't in here. So, I mean, I guess I just don't really have any other option, but Cesar, the people... And then... Do I even have anybody... To put in that slot? I don't think so. You could probably go to the train station, maybe pick up some more folks. Maybe that's what you need to do. Okay. Maybe you need to like skip this and be like. Uh, actually, it doesn't appear it that I'm able to unskippable? leave. Unskippable. Okay. Oh. Well, I just hit the Y button for I guess auto. Yeah, this so is what it came up with. That's what it gave me. Um. I don't know if it's gonna work out so great because their chemistry doesn't look so hot. But. Predictions you get accurate feedback. Okay. Whatever you want to do, man. Yeah. Well, we're just about out of time anyway, so. Um, oof. Mm -hmm. So dense. I know. There's Holy a shit. Of, a lot of components. We, like, got, we got this board. We got fights. We got a show to set up. We got, like, some sort of fucking mystery. Talking some that kind fucking. Some loot box. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a fight up here. A fighty fight. And a fight here. I want to see what this question mark is. Oh, yeah. Do the so thing. So we got to go through the fight first. Um. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know. Hmm. What are these? Oh, that guy's different. The one in the front wearing the green. Is he or is it just a palette swap? Uh, I think we got a constable and he's probably something about higher than that. A sergeant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. Fucking smoke him. Uh, smoke him if you got him. Let's just focus fire this time and see if that makes a, a difference. He's dizzy. <laughs> okay. He got a taunt and a dodge buff. Ow! Son of a bitch. I mean, what do you even do if you, like, live in this town? You're just like, man, I just want to go to the circus and, like, not get harassed by <laughs> robot people on the way there. Ooh. Mom, I want to go down the street to the circus. No, honey, you can't. The robot cops are on the prowl again. Devotion attack, show off buff, spine breaker. Paspa, go the back way. No, that way has the mimes. Taunt prevents targeting. Ah, boo. Just a little quarrel. Holy <laughs> shit, that was pretty devastating. Uh, Rude. How much health do they have left? You know what? I think... Um, Yes. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, I think that people have probably a, a fairly good idea of, like, what's going on here. Um, and uh, it definitely seems like 17 to 20, 19 to 22. Yeah, that should work. Um, it definitely seems like something... It seems like it's something that will definitely appeal to a certain group of people, right? Um uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's say if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe button, and let us know maybe down in the comments down below. Um, if you really like this video, maybe you want to go to patreon.com forward slash rage light. Help us out. Kick some bucks. Um, and uh, in return, you get some bonus videos. John and I have started the momentous task of playing all the way through Elden Ring from wow. start to finish. Um, Yowza. I think it's going pretty well so far. I royally fucked it all up last time, which is... What I did mean, you do? Well, you know, everybody wants... That's what the people want to see. They don't want to see you... They don't want to see you succeed. They want to see you fail. 
That's the uh, you know what is drama without conflict, right? You have to <laughs> you have to s- fail and then you come back and you succeed and everybody's like, what a great story! Oh, I love of underdog. redemption and adventure. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, also, you come to the Discord server. Also, we get to stay in business, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, I I always like that. Um, also, you can watch Tessa and I play The Quarry if you don't want to watch Resident Evil. So, or, uh, yeah, The Quarry was pretty dope. Uh, I was going to say, if you don't want to watch Elden Ring, um, or you can watch us play Resident Evil. So, yeah, uh, let us know. And then, Tessa, tell the fine people of the internet where they can find you uh, when you're not over here helping me slap down mimes with electric locks or whatever the hell is going on <laughs> get him Yvonne your namesake uh, yeah when I'm not over here watching you play the video games and uh, us hemming and hawing about it uh, they can find me on Instagram under Tess Morrison all one word I do reviews for oneofus.net and I'm going to be helping a program a film festival this year Other Worlds Film Festival that's going to be the first weekend of December and it's a sci-fi film festival oh there you go uh, yeah and uh, that will uh, here. Let's just finish off this guy, and then we'll wrap it up. Take that mime. Oh, I want to know. Actually, I was gonna say I want to know what's in that question mark, but I assume they're gonna make us go do a yeah. whole shitload of chores before we can figure that out. So the lowest level of street performer, mime. We'll, yes, we'll just stop here. Bye, everybody.